Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football Recap Show. We're also going to recap the Sunday night game as well, and we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 uh, Monday Night Football uh, Week 1 trivia question. And even though we didn't get to do a pregame show, but I will next week for you because the Browns are uh, playing Monday night. Uh, but here is a trivia question. For 11 years, from October 1970, uh, to December 12th, 1981, the Oakland Raiders went 18 1 and 1 on Monday Night Football. Against what team did the Raiders suffer their only loss during that stretch? I will have the answer later in the podcast. Uh, sorry about this delay here. Let me uh, flip here. Well, the uh, the uh, New York Jets came from behind in uh, overtime last night uh, to beat the Buffalo Bills. To beat the Buffalo Bills in overtime, twenty-two uh, to sixteen last night at uh, MetLife Stadium in uh, in East Rutherford, New Jersey, uh, and uh, Aaron Rodgers tore his Achilles tendon. And then when I confirmed it on Monday, ending his first season with the New York Jets after four offensive snaps. Uh, team sources said Rogers making uh, his uh, his uh, uh, much uh, his much hyped New York debut on Monday Night Football. Uh, he uh, uh, well, uh, the injury uh, uh, happened when Bills defensive end Leonard Floyd sacked him on the team's opening drive. After getting up, the 39-year-old dropped back to uh, dropped uh, back to the turf and limped off the field with help from trainers before uh, being sent for X-ray. Zach Wilson, the Jets' number two pick uh, in 2021, replaced uh, Rodgers and threw a touchdown and. Interception in the team's uh, stunning come from behind 20 to 16 overtime win. Coach Robert Salai, uh, Sally, Robert Sally, uh said when Wilson, uh, Wilson would be the starter for the rest of the season if Rodgers is out. And it does look like, because it has confirmed that, uh, and Sorkins have confirmed that Aaron Rodgers is out for the rest of the season. So, uh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, Zach Wilson will be, uh, the, uh, Jets starter for the remainder of the season. Uh, uh, first quarter, and we're going to, uh, Bills at the point after going, uh, three and out, five plays, 17 yards. Then the Jets at the point after going five plays, 50, and uh, 50, 34 yards, excuse me. Uh, then the, uh, the Jets uh, had to settle for a field goal. They tried to score, and it was a uh, fourth and two with the Jets 22. Uh, huh. uh, I think it's uh, TJ uh, uh, Bass. 40 yard field goal is good, and it was 3 nothing Bills. Uh, And uh, then the Jets had to punt after going three and out, six plays, ten yards. It was three nothing Bills at the end of the first quarter. Uh, Buffalo had an interception to begin the second quarter, uh, and it was uh, third and eight at the Buffalo thirty-one. Josh Allen passed uh, deep middle, intended for uh, uh, Hardy, 
uh, intercepted by uh, Whitehead at the uh, at the Jets four to the Jets four for no gain, and uh, and that means the Jets got the ball back. Uh, and then the Jets tried to score. They were not able to score a touchdown. They settled for a field goal. And uh, Greg Zerline's 26-yard field goal is good. And it was 3-2. Uh, the Jets and Bills were tied at 3. Uh, the Bills scored their uh, first and only uh, the first touchdown of the game. Uh, it was uh, Josh Allen pass short right to Stefan Diggs for the five-yard touchdown. Uh, Bass's extra point is good, and it was 10-3 Bills. Uh, and the Jets had an interception. Uh, it's in the, after that, they had the ball back intercepted. Uh, it was Zach Wilson pass short middle intended for uh, 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 Rob Cobb. Uh, um, uh, intercepted by uh, Milano with the Jets 48 to the Jets 35 for 13 yards. Uh, will, uh, penalty on Buffalo, uh, Milano, uh, on Buffalo's leg was Mike Milano. Taunting for uh, minus 15 yards and force with the Jets 35. Uh, then the uh, Bills got the ball back, tried to score a touchdown, but they, they won the able to. They settled for a field goal. Bass's uh, 34 yard field goal is good, and it was. Uh, 13-3 Buffalo at halftime. And uh, there were only two players. And Zach Wilson nilled at the end of the first uh, half for uh, the Jets 24 for minus one yards. Uh, then the uh, Jets uh, uh, tried to get a touchdown, but couldn't they set up for another field goal? Uh, Greg Zerline, 43-yard field goal is good. And it was 13-6 uh, to six for Bill's lead. Uh, the, uh, Buffalo had another interception, uh, after that, they got the ball back, they got another interception, J Josh Allen passed deep middle, and turned for Stephon Diggs, uh, intercepted by, uh, I think it's, uh, Whitehead and, and Williams at the New York Jets, minus one for a touchback, uh, and the, uh, Jets had the punt after going three and out, four plays, 16, 19 yards, excuse me. Then the Bills are the punter are going three and out, three plays, six yards. Then the uh, the uh, Jets had the punt after going three and out, three plays and six yards, and it was thirteen six at the end of the third quarter. Uh, in the fourth, uh, the uh, interception. Uh, Bills had another. There was a their second interception of the night, and another one again. Josh Allen passed short, right intended for uh, Geno Davis. Intercepted by Whitehead at the Jets 43. Ran out of bounds at the Jets 43 for no gain. And the Jets got the ball back and scored their uh, first touchdown of the game. Uh, Zach Wilson passed short to uh, short left to Greg Wilson for the three-yard touchdown. Uh, and uh, there was a penalty on the Jets' delay of game. Minus five yards and force. Uh, the Buffalo 15, no play, but the touchdown stood. And Zerline's extra point was good, and it was the Bills and the Jets were tied at 13. Buffalo had a fumble. They fumbled. Uh, Josh Allen fumbles, uh, aborted at the Buffalo 21, and receivers at the Buffalo 21. Josh Allen to the Buffalo 25 for four yards. Uh, Clemens fumbles and recovered by the New York. New York Jets, uh, I think it's Quentin Williams at the uh, Buffalo 27. And the Jets get the ball back, but they weren't able to score. They tried to score a touchdown, but couldn't. And uh, they kicked the, they set up for a field goal. Greg Zerline's 30-yard uh, field goal uh, is good, and it was 16-13 uh, uh, to 13 Jets. And uh, Buffalo... Uh, Tried to score a touchdown, but couldn't still. They stopped with a field goal. They had to make it to send it into overtime. And it was uh best 50 yard field goal, and it was good. And it was, it was Bills and Jets were tied at 16. And uh 
Bass takes 85 yards to the Buffalo, 35 to the end zone for a touchback. Zach Wilson kneels for uh, minus one yards at the Jets, 24. We're into overtime, and they, uh, the uh, Jets, uh, the uh, Bills have the point they're going uh, three and out. Uh, after three uh, three plays minus uh, two yards, and then here's the thing that won it. Uh, Martin punts 42 yards to the Jets, 35 center. Uh, Ryan Ferguson and uh, Xavier Gilsman for a 65-yard touchdown, and that would do it. The Jets would come from behind and win this game 22-16 to to start out 1-0. But Aaron Rodgers is out for uh, the uh, rest of the uh, season. He is going to be out, of, and that confirmed it. And uh, so uh, Zach Wilson will be taking over. And I have to give credit to where credit is due. Uh, the Jets get the game ball. Zach Wilson, 14 of 21 carries and attempts. Uh, uh, 140 yards, one touchdown. Uh, one and one interception. I think it's Brandon Hall. Uh, 100, 127 yards, 10 attempts. Greg, Greg Wilson. Uh, uh, yeah, it's Greg Wilson. Uh, five receptions, 34 yards, one touchdown. And so the Bills will have to try to bounce back next week. And uh, and the Dallas Cowboys beat the uh, New York Giants 40 to nothing. But let me reveal the answer to today's trivia question. For 11 years, no, excuse me, for 11 years from October 19, 19, 1970, to December 12, 20, 12, 20, 1981, the Oakland Raiders went 18-1-1 on Monday Night Football against what team did the Raiders suffer their, their only loss during that stretch? If you said the Buffalo Bills, you are correct. On the season premiere of Monday Night of ABC's Monday Night Football, on September 16, 1974, the Oakland Raiders suffered their only loss during uh, that 20-game stretch. At the hands of the Buffalo Bills, 21 to 20 at Rich Stadium. Oakley had a chance to win uh, the game at the end, but George Blanda missed a 50 yard field goal. Cry. So I'll have another trivia question on my uh, next podcast, so stay tuned for that. And the Dallas Cowboys, they beat the uh, New York Giants uh, 4 to nothing on Sunday Night Football. I had my last time, and he's throughout the Britain, New Jersey. And it was all Dallas. Dallas had this game in hand from the get-go. And uh, uh, the Giants, they just could not get anything together. And it was a horrible nightmare game for the Giants. But for Dallas, this was, their defense just dominated this game. And so did uh, Dick Prescott. And so uh, Dick Prescott, 13-24 uh, and 24 carries and attempts, uh, 143 yards. Uh, I think I see who he is. It's ha, Tony Pollard, uh, seventy yards, two touchdowns, fourteen attempts, and C.D. Lamb, uh, four receptions, seventy-seven yards. So uh, week one is in the books, and I'll be back with my Thursday, my Thursday night football uh, pregame show, which the Minnesota Vikings will take on the Philadelphia Eagles uh, uh, at uh, you at uh, Lincoln Financial Field and. Uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Minnesota will try to bounce back in that loss. Philadelphia will try to go to 2-0. So, uh, uh, and the Browns will be next. There'll be two Monday night games next Monday night. Let me do Sunday night's game. There's going to be the Miami Dolphins and the New York and the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Two Monday night games next week. New Orleans, Saints play Carolina Panthers at, uh, in Carolina, uh, at, uh, And, uh, let's see what, uh, yeah, Bank of America Stadium in, uh, in, uh, North Carolina. And the Browns, they will travel to Pittsburgh to take on the, the Steelers and try to go to 2 0 Monday night. That'll be at, uh, Eskier Stadium in Pittsburgh. 
Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Snap Sports 101 uh, Monday Night Football and Sunday Night Football recap show. I'll be back with my Thursday Night Football pregame show. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.